Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, Miss Ebony V. Welcome back or to my channel. If this is your first time here, please do consider hitting that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload a video. All right, y'all. So today I have another synthetic wig review. And this is a new unit from Sensationals Curls, Kinks, and Co. collection. This unit is in the style Elite Babe, and I have her in the color number four. Now, Sensational has several of these units in this Curl, Kinks, and Co. collection. I think I have only had the pleasure of reviewing one of them. And I can't even remember the name right now. <laughs> But again, I'll be sure to include that video up here as well as in the description box below. So this is more of a kinky textured wig. So if that's kind of your flavor, your style, kind of what you enjoy, I'll also link a playlist down below of some other kinky units that I have reviewed as well. Now let me go ahead and give you some features of this unit I'm reviewing today. It claims to have ear-to-ear -ear soft lace, easy self-application, can be styled as an updo, natural look and feel now before i dive into the review let me go ahead and do a little small black owned business spotlight i have recently been introduced to miss amore in beauty and she has a beauty line so if you don't know i really enjoy supporting small black businesses so i had to support her especially when i saw deanna monet review some of her products and like I was sold like I was like yes especially with the packaging alone so Deanna did review several of her lip ink which is basically matte lipstick but she calls them lip ink which I absolutely love and more specifically she reviewed this brick house that I'm wearing and I was like yes I have to have that I love this brick house color I just love this I think this is so cute I am a huge fan of bows alone like I actually have bows tattooed on me that's how much I love bows I also picked up this lip pencil, which also has a cute little bow right here. And it's kind of basically the same color as the lip ink I'm wearing, but it's called Showstopper. And last but not least, I picked up this little gloss, another little cutesy cutesy package. <laughs> and this is in the color Rarely New, and it's called Lip Smoothie. Very, very nice products, y'all. I love them so far. So I just want to throw that little plug in there, especially since I'm actually wearing it today. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and dive right into this review.
about this one. I don't even know where to begin. Well, let's begin with the style. So, I know it looks a whole lot different than when it came out the package. As you can see from the styling process, yeah. I'm kind of at a loss for words. Like, them curls out the package, they didn't know. And either did I which way they wanted to go. <laughs> it was just a, a wig of confusion. So because I couldn't figure out how the wig was supposed to lay, I had to like look back at the stock card and try to figure this out. Them curls were not flowing. So the best option for me was to remove them and just straighten the hair. I'm already, as you can tell, <laughs> not a fan of this wig. Like, I am so here for a kinky textured wig. I love the natural hair, kinky texture type of wig. I'm here for it. This one, uh-uh. I don't know. I'm not so... The texture is nice now. That might be the only pro <laughs> that I have. Is that it's really a nice texture. It really feels like kinky straight natural hair and you flow right on through so no tangling with that yeah it's shed heavy but that could be because i attempted to pluck it the hairline is awful no pre-plucking of the hairline um but you know that part wouldn't even be that bad if the hair would just have some sense of flow like, I can get away with it not having a pre-plucked hairline because if I kept this middle part, the hairline would be covered anyway. I just wouldn't wear it as a side part or try to put it up. Speaking of which, that is one of their selling points. Can be styled as an updo. How? I don't know. I wouldn't dare put this up with the hairline that it comes with. Like, no ma'am. Who's putting this up? I'm not. I'm just not. Maybe somebody will. <laughs> Maybe somebody will. All right, so another thing. My hair is not the flattest under here. I did just wash my hair. It was wash day. So I do got a bunch of plaits all over the place. So it's not the flattest. I normally have my hair cornrowed, but right now my hair is in preparation to be cornrowed. It's doing its stretch thing <laughs> so that I can cornrow it. Um. So, yeah, I feel like I got a helmet head. That's how I feel. And I don't know if it's because of my base alone or if the wig has something to do with it also. So, not sure. I tried to flatten it as much as possible with my hot comb. Now, y'all know, I can typically make a wig work. It's just a flop to me, y'all. It is just a flop. In my humble opinion, save your coins. Now, if you think you can make it work, by all means, <laughs> go for it. Let me go on and give you the price. This unit is about $30 all across the board on most of the sites that I've seen. So I'll be sure to leave you some options down in the description box below. But do I think it's worth it? No. Someone else may feel completely different. So make sure you check out other people's reviews. You know, this is just my opinion, my perspective. When I saw this stock card, I was like, Oh, yes, this is going to be nice. Such potential. Didn't work for me, y'all. I hope that it works for someone else. And if it does, I can't wait to see it. I need my mind changed. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I gave you my thoughts. Let me know what you think. I mean, how do you feel about this? Is this something you would work with? Just curious. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it as always. Please be sure to thumbs up this video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. All right, y'all. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, y'all.